Hello! I hope you've all had a great holiday season. It's time for a post-Christmas art supplies haul. Low buy? I thought you said go buy! <laughs> yeah, whatever, Becky. Let's get into it, shall we? Not even I could resist the siren call of Black Friday sales, so most of the items you'll see are from there, and I've also bought a few things throughout the year. I mostly stay low buy, but at the end of the year it's just really too hard, so I didn't do very well. But let's take a look at the first couple of items, a couple of small ones. I've got this Faber-Castell set of graphite pencils. Because I've been talking about them in a previous video when I tested out the matte pencils, I thought I'd just get some regular ones and they were on super special on Amazon. So that was a good time to buy these. Might as well open them. And here we have a lovely set of pointy graphite pencils and it goes from a 2H up to an 8B. So I'm sure I'll be using these at some point. They're too pretty to use right now. I just thought I'd look at them for a little while. They're always lovely when they're brand new and all of the pencils are the same height. And then I also got some pens. These are Tombow Fudeno Suke Pastel Soft Tip Brush Pens. They were on a sale as well, so I thought I'd get those, even though I haven't had the best luck with pastel colours lately, but I just thought they were quite nice, and I'm sure I will use them for something. I'll give them a quick test and see what the colours look like. Let's swatch them out on this white paper pad. I don't think white's going to show up. <laughs> no, I don't know what this one's going to be good for. It is not showing up at all on black or white. Or is it just supposed to be a clear one? No, it does say white. Maybe I could see it a little bit when I tilt it. You could see it's slightly white. But uh, another transparent white thing which is going to drive me nuts. The other colours are pretty though. I like those ones. Next up are these four bottles of paint that I've had on my wish list for ages and they finally went on sale so I ordered them. I'm pretty sure these came from the United States. They are folk art dragonfly glaze and they are colour changing chameleon paints. This one says green gold red shift and then there's blue green gold shift, violet blue green shift and last one is red violet blue shift. I hope those are going to be very pretty. I mean, the lids are just so shiny. So I'm probably going to do a separate video on these because they've all got the little caps on inside as well as plastic on most of them. But I did buy some other paints too, which are by the same company. And these are Extreme Glitter by Folk Art. I saw these pop up on the suggested ones when I was looking at these and I just can't resist glittery things. So yes, I got a whole stack of them. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. But glitter paint is always fun. So there's a hologram, black, gold, purple, red, emerald, turquoise, champagne, silver and jelly bean pink. So I think I'm going to do a separate video looking at all of these paints because it's going to take me ages to peel all the plastic off the lids and it is far too hot for that today when I'm filming this. Speaking of paints, I finally ordered something from the company Culture Hustle which is in the UK. I've been looking at them for years and I couldn't really justify buying anything but they had a pretty good Black Friday sale so I ended up buying a few items and they actually made it before Christmas. I'm very happy about that. So here are the three things that I bought and I'm most definitely Definitely doing a separate video on this, the world's caloriest watercolors. I cannot wait to test this out. I've been wanting to try them ever since they released them maybe a couple of years ago. This one is unicorn milk and this is a holographic acrylic paint as well. It looks like it has got a staple in of course. Okay, finally got it. <laughs> uh, what a mess. I'm presuming that's to stir the paint because it does say to stir it. Look right there. Unicorn milk, so it's like a very pearlescent paint that you can paint over the top of other things and it gives it a translucent, shiny look. If you've watched Mira Byler's channel, she's used this a few times and that's where I got the idea to get some. And this was a freebie if you bought anything during the Black Friday sale. It is the Black 
4.0, their blackest black, the latest version. And I was very fortunate to be in a time zone where it flicked over to Black Friday and I must have been one of the first people to order something because apparently they ran out of these really quickly and I was first cab off the rank due to the time differences. So yay for Australia being ahead of everyone. Usually it doesn't work in our favour, but this time it did. So I'll be testing this out to see how black it is. Apparently the other versions are very black, so we shall see. 365 days of drawing. Sketch and paint your way through the creative year. So yes, I am going to try and fill this entire thing next year. I don't know how successful I'm going to be. I'm probably not going to do one a day though, that would just be ridiculous. But I'll probably do them in stages, in groups of different ones. There's all sorts of random things in here, and I've always been curious to actually try and fill out one of these prompts books. The papers seems to be quite nice, although I imagine I'll stick with pencils on this one. Maybe some ink. I don't know about watercolours though. We shall revisit this next year. I found a couple of colouring books in our local Target. World of Colour and Alien Worlds, both by Kirby Rosanis. This one's actually a combination of previous books and so I have quite a lot of the pictures that are already in here and I didn't realise this when I first bought it. Some of the designs, like this page spread, I don't think I have. So I may keep it, but I might give it away to one of my colouring friends because I know I've done that one before. And this Alien Worlds one looks so complicated. Look at the tiny details in that. I haven't quite mustered up the courage to do anything with this book either. I'm not too sure how much I like it. I actually quite like this page, I think, the best. But like I said, I may end up giving this one away too. Or I might keep it with the other books that I've collected. And hopefully I'll try and get some more colouring done. That one looks kind of fun to do. I do like the covers though. That's what suckered me in. <laughs> A set of three plain sketchbooks with fairly standard paper in them. I saw these on sale and I just really like the white covers. It would be so much fun to paint them, maybe even give them to someone to fill in and just paint the covers. It's making my camera go out of focus too because everything's so white. I might keep these as art journals too because you probably know I've been doing some paper crafting and things like that and I thought these could be good for that. They were just so white and pristine I couldn't resist them. When the art shop moved a few months ago and I have a video showing that, they had a bit of a sale and I decided to buy one thing from them which I have been looking at for a while because I have a small set of Derwent Chromaflow pencils, the 24 set, and I really love them. So they released a 72 set about a year or two ago and I hadn't been able to really to justify buying it but I decided I was going to treat myself and so I have this lovely new tin of Derwent Chromaflow pencils and it's still wrapped in plastic underneath. Oh look at those. I can't wait to open them. I will film this in a separate video because these deserve their own swatching and artwork but I really love the tin. I think that's absolutely lovely and it's always good to get things on a discount isn't it and the last item i have today the most special one is a gift that nick gave to me for christmas and it is this beautiful iris circle drawing tool by the company makers cabinet it's in a nice box as well i'll see if i can get this out in one piece <laughs> and it's got a piece of paper with some of the instructions on there. And here is the tool itself. It's made of brass, and I've already managed to get schmutz on it <laughs> because brass does not stay polished for very long. It also comes with a little stand for it, and that's a nice wooden piece, so it can stand up like that i like that but this is basically like a compass and you turn it and it gives you different size circles that you can use to draw i mean obviously you can only draw circles up to i think seven centimeters but that's okay quite often i just want to draw little circles on my artworks and so i think this is going to be very handy let's just get a piece of paper and test it out I'll make a few circles, so we'll do one. There's a tiny red marker here too, so basically when it's completely open like this, it's a seven centimeter circle. And then if I bring it in, we'll say to five. That looks pretty good. And let's make another one at three. I'll make a tiny circle at one. 
There we go. That's pretty cool. I'm so glad to have this. It's such a lovely looking piece of metal and I think I need to give it another polish in there and it may also need a little bit of oil inside. I think you can use sewing machine oil. I need to do some research on that. I've managed to get some pencil on there. So yes, it is going to take a little bit of time to get used to this because it is a specialty piece of equipment but I really like it because I just like to draw circles. And ten and a half centimeters is what that one is. <laughs> so thank you to Nick for giving me this beautiful iris circle drawing tool. I'm so excited to have it and I shall be treasuring this in its lovely little container here. Though maybe I'll set it on the stand at some point. And here's everything beautifully laid out on my desk. I had to squish everything in. But I'm really excited and inspired to try out some of these products. There's so many treasures in here. And I can't wait to start using them next year. I might even use a few before then. But I think most of them I'm probably going to share with you on camera. Because that's always fun to do. And I do have a couple of other items which I've ordered off Kickstarter. One of them was supposed to arrive in December. But that's been pushed back to January and the other I don't think is coming out until March sometime so I'm probably going to forget about these things until they turn up at the doorstep but I will have a few more products to show next year as well so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did I'd appreciate a thumbs up and you might want to click that subscribe button for more videos coming out next year using some of these products let me know in the comments which product I should use first and here's a couple of other art haul videos from previous Christmases if you want to check those out in the meantime I hope you're enjoying the holidays and I'll see you all again really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!